everybody, my name is Maraid and welcome to my channel. It's May now and like last month I'm going to be sharing with you my monthly favorites and hate it's. April was kind of a nothing month. The only thing I really did that was big is this past weekend I went to the Sounders game for my dad's birthday. It's rainy, it was windy usual Pacific Northwest weather. What can you do? So I have a bunch of favorites and a couple hate it's and I have three non-beauty items to share. So yeah, my first favorite is the Neutrogena Clean Pore Cleanser and Mask. I bought this because my acne last month was really fluctuating and was just kind of bad off and on and I this mask I ma mainly use it for a mask not really a cleanser but I put it on I leave it on for five to ten minutes and it really works well to sink into my pores and completely clear out my pores and it leaves that kind of fresh clean feeling on my face and it has works really well for me so yeah and I use it every other day just about so a couple times a week my next favorite which is another skincare product is the Neutrogena rapid clear stubborn acne spot gel it doesn't necessarily make acne completely disappear but it does really help bring down the redness and kind of help reduce the head I usually may usually just mainly use it for like cystic acne and that I usually get them like right here and they're usually pretty big and it works really well for acne that has a white head or a black head depending on what kind of acne you have and it doesn't necessarily really help prevent acne from really popping up like if you get you know you can feel a zip popping up it doesn't really help stop it from coming up but it does really help with redness and things like that so my next favorite is these faux mink uh, luxurious lightweight with invisiband ardell lashes in 811 i every time i wear false lashes this month it has always been this pair of lashes uh they are really bold but not super bold they look really pretty on they're comfortable to wear and yeah they they're just really beautiful lashes and I don't have any trouble with these lashes and my next favorite for the month is this NYX turned up lipstick in five tolls it's a very pretty color so it looks really dark in the tube, but it actually isn't that dark on the lips. It it is a matte finish, but it's not like a like it's not super matte, so it doesn't leave your lips just really dry and uncomfortable feeling. It's really lightweight. I feel like you can't really even feel it on your lips. It's a beautiful color, like I said, and it's it doesn't, like, disappear. And you don't really have to touch it up that often, except, like, after you eat or drink, then you kind of have to touch it up. But other than that, it is long-wearing. It does look really pretty on the lips. It's not super dark. And it's I this is pretty well all I've been wearing for the past couple weeks every time I've worn makeup. The, the next thing is this Almay Brow Pencil. I use 801 Dark Blonde. I My Ride or Die Eyebrow Pencil is the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow Pencil, but this is a very close second. It reminds me a lot of the Goof Proof brow pencil from Benefit. It's 
very long wearing it is not a super intense color but it has enough color that it makes your eyebrows look a bit more natural not like Instagram bold but more natural and it's a great drugstore eyebrow pencil and I use this off and on so days where I'm not I don't really need super bold makeup or I'm not wearing a whole lot of makeup I'll use this compared to using the precisely my brow pencil and then my last beauty favorite is the airspun loose face powder I have translucent it's a very lightweight powder it's very similar to the Laura Mercier translucent loose powder it doesn't make my face look cakey when I wear it it makes my foundation look really beautiful and it doesn't make my face look really dark some powders with me does that just because I am so pale um, the one thing I don't like about it is that it kind of smells like baby powder and the puff it comes with is useless and I don't use it I use it with a dampened beauty blender but it's a great powder and it's really inexpensive too which is a bonus and you get a lot of product for you know for how cheap it is and my last favorites are non-beauty related I bought two t-shirts this month that I absolutely love and adore and they're both from the they're both Big Bang shirts so this is the first one and it has all of their faces on it and then it has the made symbol from the made album on the back if you don't know who Big Bang is, they are a K-pop band that's been around for 10 years now. And they are the first K-pop group that I really fell in love with and are the group that made me fall in love with K-pop. So this group is very close to my heart in that sense. And I got them these shirts at Hot Topic. And then the second one is this one where it has their backs and then the name and then their names and then it says their names on the back of the shirt and I love them and I know I'm going to wear the shit out of them so I have three hate it's two beauty one non-beauty so the first hate it is this magnify uh, shadow palette from Rimmel this is the eyeshadow contouring palette it's it's an okay palette the color range is nice and you could do a lot of looks with this palette my only problem with this palette is is that it's not really pigmented which is annoying to me because then it kind of looks like you have nothing on your eyes no matter how much product you put on it was my struggle with it and they are very, they have a lot of fallout. And even the white shade over here has a lot of of this color on it now. Just from powder flying everywhere. It's inexpensive. If it had a bit more pigment, I would like it a lot. But I don't really like it just due to pigmentation. The next thing is... The Infallible Paints Liquid Liner in White Party 310. On top of shadows, it's not very bold and I felt like you had to kind of wipe it off every so often because then it just would lose its pigmentation. Um, when you swatch it, it's pretty white. But on the lid, I didn't feel like it was that white and it wasn't very bold. For being at ten, for it being ten dollars and not very bold coloring, I just kind of felt like it was a dud, and I just the other colors might be better. I only have the white one, but I just I don't really like the white one. Maybe the other ones will work better for me, but for this one, it's a no, it's a no go. 
my last hate it. If you follow me on social media, you, you'll know what I'm about to say. Because I have spent probably the last month continuously complaining about it. So, it pains my heart. It pains my heart. So, my last hate it is this stupid clear bag. So, CenturyLink changed their policy. So, you have to use a clear bag. You can't bring in purses or bags. It has to be in a clear bag. And... I just feel like it's a really big inconvenience just because, you know, you can't just sling this over your body given how short the straps are. They did have, like, a drawstring backpack option, but I didn't necessarily like that or want that just because I don't like drawstring backpacks. But, and it's, this one has a zipper, which is great just in the sense that then the stuff that's in it isn't going to get wet. But it's it's just as annoying to me, and I don't... It's just as kind of a hassle. And for me, it was really frustrating because I don't have a pro shop anywhere near me. I literally would have to drive to Seattle, which is over two hours away, to go to the pro shop and get one ahead of time. And I have a team shop that's an hour and away an hour away but they mainly just carry Seahawks shit and when I called to ask if they had the Sounders clear bags the lady was like no we just have the Seahawks one and people just usually buy the Seahawks one and I was like yeah no I don't like the Seahawks I honestly loathe the Seahawks so I don't want a Seahawks bag so that part was really just frustrating to me and unfortunately, I have to live with this bag for until mystically the policy changes. I don't like it. I mean, the bag itself is fine. I just, I really just don't like the policy. That's, that's the main thing I hate. I hate the policy, not the bag. Well, okay, I kind of hate the bag. But, you know, that. I just, bleh. I don't like it. But, yeah, that is all for my favorites and hate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and give this video a thumbs up. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video.